In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use the IBM Globalization Pipeline extension from Microsoft Visual Studio Code to rapidly translate your Bluemix applications into other languages. For those of you not familiar with IBM Bluemix, you can check out the link below to learn more about it. The Globalization Pipeline service on IBM Bluemix helps you rapidly translate your applications into multiple languages, all from within the cloud. And now what we've done is we've created an extension that allows you to connect to the Globalization Pipeline service directly from the Visual Studio Code editor. So let's get started and learn how we can use it. Here I have Microsoft Visual Studio Code being displayed, so let's get the extension installed and start using it. So the first thing you'll need to do is find the extension. You can find that by typing globalization. And then you'll see here a link to install the extension. I've already gone ahead and installed it, so we won't have to do that again. But you'll go ahead and click on the install link uh, from when you uh, go ahead and search for the extension. So how do we configure it? Well, let's bring up the preferences and select user settings. And you'll see here there are a number of attributes that you need to define so that you can use the service. And these attributes are your credentials that are out on IBM Bluemix for the service. So where do you find them? So out here on the service, you'll see that there's a link in the instance of the service to your VCAP credentials. And you basically just copy all that credential information over, um, paste that into the attributes in your settings.json file, and then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and start using the extension. So to invoke the extension, you invoke it just like any other normal extension in Visual Studio Code. So you can hit uh, function key one, and that'll bring up the extension. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, then to invoke the service, just simply start typing globalization, and you'll see a number of options for you. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is uh, click on Create Bundle. And now I'll be asked to type a name of a bundle. So we'll just call this uh, Test Bundle. And that'll go off and create the bundle out on IBM Bluemix and the globalization service for you. Um, here I have a Java properties file uh, displayed in the editor, and let's suppose I want to translate that into a few languages. Now what I've already done in the setup of the service uh, in the extension here is I've already configured the extension to automatically translate everything into Spanish and French. So I don't have to select individual languages each time I upload content. So let's go ahead and invoke the plugin again. Once again, start type globalization. And this time I'm going to choose upload source bundle. When I do that, I'm going to get back a list of various bundles that I can use that I've already defined out on the globalization service in Bluemix and upload the content to. So there you can see I have my test bundle. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now once you do that, it will automatically upload the file that is uh, highlighted. And here I have that file in the editor. So it's going to go ahead, parse that content, and automatically translate that into multiple languages for me. Now if you go out to the Globalization Pipeline service on Bluemix, and we'll do that in a moment, you'll see all that content is available in the dashboard of the service as well. Now let's suppose I want to make use of that content. Well, how do I do that? Well, there are a number of ways that you can uh, actually use your content from your application. Uh, one of the best ways is actually to use the Globalization Pipeline SDKs. And uh, there's a link below here that you can follow along and you can check out the SDKs. But we have SDKs for a variety of languages. By using the SDKs, uh, you can direct, uh, directly connect to the service and get your content dynamically without having to download any files whatsoever. However, if you do want to get your content as a file, you certainly can do that. Um, once again, invoke the plugin, type globalization. Um, and now this time you can see that you have a choice of download bundle. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then you'll get a list of your bundles. And let's choose uh, Test Bundle. And here you see I have a choice of Spanish or French, which are the languages that I pre-configured in the extension that I wanted to translate into. So I'll go ahead and choose Spanish. Once I do that, here you can see it'll download the content for me and create a JSON file right in my application. Now if we go out to the dashboard on Globalization Pipeline, you'll see here all of our bundles are listed. Let me refresh here. And there's our test bundle. And there you'll see the content and all the translations as well. So there's your original uh, source content. And kind of stepping back, there is our translation. There's French, for example. And then you're free to actually go ahead and make changes and edits there directly in the dashboard if you need to. 
And that's all there is to it. So pretty simple and easy to get started with using the extension and directly connects you to Globalization Pipeline out on Bluemix.